So I will show you the structure first. You see here on silicon substrate, you grow SiO2 layer. Above the SiO2 layer, in the near the source and drain, you are going to have doped carbon nanotubes. And uh, in the gate, you are going to have undoped carbon nanotubes. And between the gate and undoped carbon nanotubes, you are going to have one more layer of SiO2 only in the gate for providing the required amount of insulation. So this is the structure for a metal oxide semiconductor CNT fit. Metal gate will be metal oxide semiconductor and in between you are having CNT. So it is almost having four layers, metal oxide semiconductor carbon nanotube fit. So the channel between the source to drain is made up of CNT fit and the CNT fit, what is the only one change? Only in the channel present below the gate, you will be having undoped carbon nanotube. Whereas except at that point, all other points I'm going to use doped carbon nanotubes. Okay, so see the explanation here. The construction is shown. The device is made up of silicon, which is the form of substrate. So even though it is carbon nanotube, I'm going to fabricate it on silicon only. Only the channel is going to be CNT. Otherwise, I'm going to use silicon substrate only for growing my carbon nanotube. So a layer of SiO2 is formed immediately above the substrate. Okay, so ideal MOSFET like CNT is formed by one or more Semiconductor CNT, uh, CNT is perfectly aligned under the gate. So that's what they are saying. So I'm going to use one or more CNT. I'm going to use one type of CNT is below the source and drain. And I'm going to use another type of CNT below the gate. So that's what they're saying here. So as the source and drain regions are N-type doped, the channel is intrinsic. The potential barrier for charge carriers from source to drain regions, and this is off-state. Initially, when you don't apply any voltage, it is going to be off state of your uh, device. So the carriers do not see any barrier in on state and gate electrostatics control the top of the barrier similar to MOSFET. The so same way what they are saying, similar to MOSFET, how the gate voltage is going to control the behavior of your MOSFET. And also the gate voltage is going to ensure the behavior of the CNT MOSFET. So when positive voltage is applied to gate, the barrier decreases and when the applied gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage, a channel is formed between the source and drain. So anyways, whatever voltage you apply, it should be above the threshold. Only when you apply voltage above the threshold voltage, conduction of current happens from source to drain. Otherwise, uh, how much ever voltage you apply less than threshold voltage, you can turn on the device. That's what they are saying. When you apply positive voltage to the gate, the barrier slowly decreases. Only voltage crosses its threshold voltage, the actual conduction of the current happens between the source and drain through the carbon nanotube channels. So you can see the operation of silicon MOSFETs using conventional, this is the silicon MOSFET and this is the carbon nanotube fit. So you can see in silicon MOSFET you have conduction band and valence band and as you apply in on state this is the energy band diagram in off state this is the energy band diagram off on on state means saturation off state means i'm just turning on my vgs but in carbon nanotube fit you see your know, the energy band diagram is shape itself is going to be changing but here the outline of shape is going to be same in both the case on state and off state but here you see the energy band diagram shape is slightly changing in your carbon nanotube fit Okay, it is going to change slightly in the carbon nano 